This week on The Great Singapore Replay. And in a plotting play City don't have no new year Because you've been recently influenced by Tropical House, right? <laughs> this is my life! Last time on The Great Singapore Replay, you saw the artists receive the songs they will reimagine. For this episode, we are in this nice quiet location to see how they delve into, find the essence and the heart of the song. Let's do this! Yes! Okay, so what do you think it means? Because I don't know. <laughs> I think he's just talking about how he feels about her and how he views her. When I first heard this song, the first the other song that came to mind was actually Nirvana, Smells Like King Spirit. Because in the start, right, there's that, that, yeah, yeah. that two guitar note that just rings in your head. And, and the song also has it. And the guitar note is like crying along. Everyone remembers the chorus you mean, yeah. right? And they know like the lyrics and stuff. Yeah. So yeah, that was my main worry. Like, the what? Trying to keep the same energy going, leading up to the chorus. But I think we, we locked down the rhythm first. Yeah. And then when we, are, we got the groove going on, then we keep them the... The line, like. It's all this, the way it's the same, right? And then, 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 then they've got the breakdown thing. Is that for the rap? But the rap part is summer, yeah? The rap part is summer, yeah? Summer, yeah. But it's the same. Mm. Or we can go. Um, she called me looking at her from the corner of her eye. Over me. Oh, maybe that's where we need to have a change. Right. In a blinding place In the heat of grace I got her to the feeling Then she smiled at me Okay, so then how do we want to go and break it down? <laughs> oh yeah, we could do like a breakdown like you that, You know right? what I yes, mean, right? Yes. Totally change it. You know what I mean? Yeah. It makes me smile. It makes yeah. yeah. I'm alone she's alone It makes me smile. It makes me I'm alone and she's alone now. Um, the idea of having more Emotive sounds like this could start off as a bass. That's too happy! <laughs> What's too happy? The shaker. Yeah. Something along that line. Mm. Don't mind if I join you guys for a while? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay! How are you guys going on with the song so far? Great. Good. Yeah. We're doing good. Okay. Will you all be sticking to the very synthy sound of it or will you all be changing it up totally? Uh, we have a magical synth player in the band, so... <laughs> you want to challenge ourselves? Yes. Because the easiest way would be to just like recreate the song and keep the same vibe going, but we're trying to flip it around and see where it goes from there. We're stripping it down even more at the start. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Like she's literally just gonna sing the first two lines of the song with nothing. Rhythm-wise could change. I think that's something that's a bit more fluid that can be more expanded. But when you all found out that you guys got the song City, was it panic? Was it like, yeah, right, perfect match? Or was it like, oh no, what do we do with the song? Oh no, what do we do with the song? <laughs> Alright, what I have in my hand is a message from Humback Open Themselves. Oh! Really, they do. Legit, legit, okay? I'm going to actually give you a message from Kick Themselves who wrote something to you guys. They say, Good to hear. Jane will be remade and will be looking forward to hearing it. Our keyboardist Dinesh wrote the song for his girlfriend he met while studying overseas. <laughs> yeah, like he was right. Well, okay. He said it was about yeah. long distance long relationships. Distance. We thought it was just about NS, it was like it's clear cut. And we asked them what are some words on encouragement for Joey and Sarah. They said, I'm sure the lyrics have enough ambiguity in there to project your own experiences into them. Make them your own, Joey and Sarah. Can we actually hear a sample? If you sure. can. Okay, let's do it.
I'm going to leave you guys to work on the song. I wish you all the best and I can't wait to hear your finished version of Surfing Square. So there you have it, loads of insights, loads of golden moments for our first few teams who are working on their songs. On the next episode, let's find out how the others are doing. Join us next time on The Great Singapore Replay.